My name is Louisa Joseph. I work for Royal Mail as the um, business manager for South London. My job really involves looking after the AGM, the Area General Manager, um, in terms of his admin support, liaising with the area leadership team members, the delivery sector manager, so all areas of the business, collections and the mail centre. It's enabling him to, to strategically manage the area basically and I assist him in doing that. My parents came to England back in the 50s and um, they both worked in the cotton mills in Huddersfield. When those closed down, my mum did a cleaning job. So I always, always aspired to do um, a little bit better than my mum because she always struggled. And so that is what sort of inspires me really to, to do better and, and it inspires me to do that for my children as well. When I did my A-levels, I did um, fashion and I did um, art and design, so I was interested in being a fashion designer. Now, I went to the local university um, in Huddersfield, and I did art and design then. It was a whole sort of culture shock for me. At school, you have the teachers telling you what to do. Um, you had to be in a certain room at a certain time, whereas when I got to um, uni, obviously, it was about managing your own time, studying for projects and assessments in your own time, and making sure the work's done, etc. So it, it did take a little time to get into the whole culture of being at university and being independent but then once you got used to that and you got yourself organised I really enjoyed it. I came to a point in my life when I, I wanted to earn money. Um, I was doing a Saturday job and you know the, the money that I got I would just spend it on materials for, for college or um, you know clothes and stuff like that and so I never felt that I had enough money to you know to, to really enjoy my life at college and so I decided that I'd had enough of studying and and decided to um, go and find a job and so I moved down to London. I was you know very determined and strong-minded so my mum said okay well you know go down there and see what you can do for yourself just look out look look after yourself. For the first six months um, I sort of didn't do an awful lot um, just looked around the shop spent money and then realized that you know I hadn't done anything that I said I was going to do so, so I then worked for a fashion house as a model and a receptionist for a while. So then I got got back into the fashion industry but through a different way um, and it was really enjoyable. Um, but I found that there was something about the industry that I didn't like. It was the people were very unreal. You would have clients come in and people would, you know, do the kiss on the cheek in the, or rather in the air, mwah, mwah, darling, sweetie, and all this. So it's just like on the TV. And um, to me, it didn't, it didn't fit with my values. Honesty and integrity is one of my values. Um, I didn't enjoy telling people fibs, um, and it was what was required within the job. Um, and so I made a decision to, to resign without finding another job, and that was very difficult. And it had an impact on my family as well, because I was the only person who was looking after the, the kids and, and, and my other half at the time. I, I had a goal that, you know, the six months would be the longest time that I would be out of work. And if it came to six months and I didn't find something that I really wanted to do, then, you know, if it meant starting up from the bottom again, I made a decision that I'd do that. Sometimes I worry that I don't spend enough time with the kids in terms of helping them with their schoolwork. Um, but I've been lucky. My, my, my daughter did really well in her, in her O-levels. Um, yeah, she got all A's and I was really proud of her. And, um, with my 10-year-old though, it's a slightly different story. He doesn't like school, he likes sport, he likes playing out. I suppose one of my goals over the next um, couple of years is to spend more time that he's, now that he's going to secondary school, so yeah.